In your health tonight, concerns over the Zika virus growing now. At least 14 people have been infected by mosquitoes in Florida. The governor is vowing to stop the virus from spreading any further and warning pregnant women to stay away. ABC's Lana Zak reports. Zika is in the Sunshine State, and the latest outbreak is worryingly different because these patients contracted it from local mosquitoes. There's a one square mile radius north of downtown Miami where we believe there's the occurrence of active, uh, of, of locally transmission, uh, transmission of Zika. That's what we know. In addition to the four cases from Friday, there are now 10 new cases of local transmission, those concentrated in Miami. So for the first time, people in the U.S. have contracted Zika right here at home, not by traveling to some distant lands, but in the continental United States. Governor Rick Scott is vowing to move all resources to stem the spread. We have asked the CDC to send a emergency response team uh, to the state. The CDC now issuing a travel warning to all pregnant women, telling them to avoid travel to the hot zone. But that is of little comfort to those living in the area. Right now, we'd like to have another baby, and we really would like to see more action. Meanwhile, health responders are going door to door, <laughs> spraying pesticides and testing Floridians. Once something starts, we nip it in the bud. The governor offering up his top four suggestions for eliminating Zika. So, biggest thing is no standing water, no standing water, and then no standing water, and then no standing water. <laughs> Health authorities have been testing all of the mosquitoes within that one mile radius. So far, none have come back with a case of the Zika virus. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington.